Alright everyone, welcome to Neo View. This is something that I've had my arm for a little while and with the restructuring of the channel a little bit in terms of what I'm playing I thought why not do like one action-y game at a time and then something a bit different, something a bit more, you know, esoteric and strange and hey this has been burning a hole in my Steam account for a while. Neo Feud, made by uh, Silver Spoon Games, is basically a one-man Photoshop project and it looks insane. Now there are a, there's a cast of voice actors as well, obviously voicing a lot of the characters. But this just looks, for one, nakedly political. Uh, the creator is incredibly vocal about uh, tribal equality, income equality, just everything under the sun. And it's all fed into this game. And the second part of it is the visual style. While and this is by no, me by no means being, being disparaging, while it's maybe not the most artistically like, high grade? Like, no one's gonna go, oh my god, the high fidelity graphics in this game. It's got such a certain look to it, which again, you'll see in just a second, that, like, this is this gives me the exact same vibes that, like, The Dark Inside Me and a few other, like, super small projects have given me, of, like, this is like someone's just jacked the back of someone's brain into a computer and just dreamed really hard down the pipe. And I'm ready for that shit. I hope the rest of you are as well. Uh, let's go. The new game sounds like a good move. Uh, sure. The Golem Project has been activated. Rollout will be finalized within the week. And the prototypes? We have the United Metropoles on a tight leash. The defectives will be disposed of or recycled discreetly. I don't see why we must treat them this way. They are sentient beings. They're thinking, feeling individuals. They're not people. Anthropomorphism is counterproductive. What about the temporal dislocation? Continuum alterations would prove a liability. An unfortunate oversight, but we are looking into the renegade time traveler. We suspect a neo-feudal royal has gone rogue. And the father of artificial intelligence? If he defects to our corporate state competitors, he could give them the ultimate technology. We can always manufacture more money. The same way we manufacture consensus reality. You still don't understand. We are on the edge of a global meltdown. The post-human species is primed. We won't get another chance to ascend. Singularity happens but once. The kingdom of heaven opened for an instant to the chosen. Or perhaps we are Prometheus, moths to the flame. The bugs will be burnt indeed. The defective prototypes recycled. There are no errors in paradise. You have reached your maximum nicotinoid consumption. You must wait 24 hours before. Goddamn social justice AI. What the hell is this traffic? Jesus, where are we supposed to have the goddamn flying cars by now? That I wasn't born with a silver spoon on my butt. <sighs> Stupid. 
stupid cyber on glitching out again. Ah, well, I can't afford to fix it right now, and I'm already late. Shoot, did I bring my mileage receipts for reimbursement? Okay, good. I'll need that cash for rent. Fiscal better not cheap out on me again. I'm already surviving on krill paste and soy man noodles to make ends meet. Damn it, Arm, I don't need to wank right now. Damn, Arm. Uh, oh! Hey, I have control. Cool. Card reader, door, door, card reader. Door, card reader. I don't have a card for this lock. My office is in room 105. Okay, cool. So. Do, 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 do. This is my door, but it's locked. I need to use my card to open it. This card reader is coded to my consciousness validation card. I can just swap my wallet here. My God. This is my card's inside. Okay. Move the mouse to the top of the screen to use your inventory items. Yay! Uh, there's my what? Ah, use the eyeball tool to examine your items. Okay. Is this my wallet? I know it looks like a futuristic super soldier ninja blade thing, but it's actually just a jumbo sized letter opener. I tell hot chicks and troublemakers that it's a ninja blade though. <laughs> the finger. Nice. I'll need zephcetylin and compressed oxygen to get this cutting torch running. I've got access to neither around here. Better use another tool. Uh, ooh. Blowtorch to the Dresdenator. Okay. What have I got here? Kilowatt Gigavolt Taser. The mega capacitors have lost their meganess and only hold the charge for a matter of minutes. Oh, useful. And one can only assume this is my wallet. My DIY duct tape wallet. I had this together after my last one got jacked in the projects. And I, st and I couldn't afford a new one. It's got theft camo. Some dogs don't realise it's a wallet, plus I get compliments from hipsters who think it's chic. Win-win. Son of a bitch! Ah, I must have dropped my consciousness card back in the lobby. I better find that card, and the boss is gonna roast my butt. Oh yeah. Roast it, you bitch. An over-the-limit credit card. I played musical chairs with my debt till the collection agency came for their pound of flesh. It took my kidney. Now I keep them around so I don't so I look like a bum every time I open my wallet. Lots of the cards make good guitar picks. <laughs> Fair play. Yep, okay, got a couple of those. Cool. Uh, hey, I'm actually looking up a thing. Could, could I... Yeah. I get it. Can I walk to the lobby? Hey, Man, look at that walking animation. As he turns into a five-year-old in the distance. I love it. Ah, shit, it's Damn, gone. Where the hell is my card? I uh, better go ask around. Well, there's there's Adam Jensen, there's a sentient real doll, and sweet J fucking hell, it's Manfu. Sorry, that's a reference to something I did not realise would ever come up. Corporal Hendrix, Primor, punk-looking bot girl. Oh, there we go. Oh, hybrid woman. Jesus Christ. Unemployed rescue bot. Let's have a look. Obsolete humanoid servants. Punk-looking bot girl. Oh, okay, fair enough. Nano-augmented hobo. <laughs> I never asked for this. Uh, yo! Uh, wait, what? What the... Okay, sure, apparently I can just... No, I wanted to... Oh, hang on a second, I have to... God damn it! <laughs> ah, figuring out these controls is gonna be fun. I've also just noticed he's got a separate prosthetic leg, which isn't as articulated as the other one. Hey, oh, that's fucking you magical. You see a consciousness card around here? I haven't. Sorry. No worries, bro. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, I can right-click to toggle between them as well. Uh, he doesn't want to talk to me. Starla. Uh. Hey, bro. Hey, see my sweetheart. Card? You happen to see a shiny little card lying on the ground? Maybe. Jesus Christ, tentacle arms, terrifying. Stealing is a crime, little lady. Hand it over, and I won't tell on you. You don't scare.
scare me, mister. The police only follow orders of important people like royalty and rich guys and famous actresses. And if you were important, you'd have had a manservant put a fresh new fancy shirt on you after spilling coffee on it. Fuck, it's got me there. All Let's right. talk about something else. Bye. Ma'am, I dropped a card around here earlier. Uh, did you happen to see it? What? Card? Oh, I forget card at home, officer. I have paper at home. Ah, I see. Carry on, ma'am. Yeah, she's probably an illegal immigrant. Escaped from her corporate state's eugenics lab or something. The kid might have been born in Coastlandia, though. Ah, uh, I could probably get her deported as easy as lighting a cigarette. But I have a hunch she doesn't know anything. No point making threats. Goddamn Innsmouthians coming over here, taking our jobs, <laughs> destroying our minds. Hey, psst. You happen to see a consciousness card around here? I have not, brother. Brother! No, let's not go with that. <laughs> Somehow I feel that's gonna piss him off, but alright. Hasta la vista, baby. Huh? Ah, namaste, my brother. Oh, he's a very chill. Cool. What? Uh, how you holding up, Marine? Keeping it together with peace and love, my man. I'm just here for my weekly PTSD therapy credits and social security check. Two tours of the second Dresden firebombing really took me to the heart of darkness. Jesus no Christ! Shit. You were in Operation Screaming Talon. I thought all you Model X-800s were melted into hot slag when the Thermion bombs leveled the city. We lost a lot of good sentience that day. Lost my leg to a depleted uranium round and cooked my motherboard. But I'm reformed, friend. I've opened up my third eye. War, huh? What is it good for? Keeping the <laughs> bullet farmers in business, I guess. Ah, don't get me started on the military industrial complex. Makes me just want to terminate every last one of those. <sighs> Happy place. Happy place. Hey, you stay righteous, my good buddy. Flower power. Keep oh, have a good one, fight, man. soldier. No faith but what we make, brother. So let's make it a sweet one. Okay, I've, I've got to go and talk to Nano Augmented Hobo. That just... i got to get up front. Because I'm pretty certain it's the little girl i got to get it, the card from. The Illuminati. Illuminati <laughs> they wanted to build a god with their own hands, and instead they created us. Area 51, the Golem Project. It's all there. Uh, what? We are the millions of bastard children of the God Machine. I hear them calling me through the static, calling me through resonant waves of synchronicity, like echoes in a quantum tunnel, calling me back to the great data link. I must evolve. <sighs> Conspiracy freaks. These transhuman nanotech test subjects are extra susceptible to paranoid schizophrenia. Poor bastard. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Way to make a parody and make it fucking depressing. Hey, what you want? You seen a consciousness validation card around here by any chance? Nope. Just me own one. Sorry. Alright. Let's see who else we got. Hey. Oops. You happen to see a consciousness card around here? That guy's not having a good day. All right, let's go and talk to the fairy. Hey, uh, you happen to see a consciousness card around here? <laughs> oh, thought you'd have a cool thing or something. All right, well, let's have a talk with Starla because she seems to be the one who will know. Uh, nice shirt. 
Nice t-shirt. <laughs> it's my favorite show. My Pony Princess feudalism is magic. All the princesses are so pretty and have lots of friends and orbital castles. I'm gonna marry a prince and live in a castle one day. Feudalism makes the world go round. Feudalism? <laughs> Sounds like government by four-star chefs. <laughs> no, silly. Feudalism. Eh, sorry, hon. I'm not big into politics. Right, so going Peace back over this again. You happen to see a shiny little card lying on the ground? Maybe. Oh, come on. I really need that card. Hmm. What's in it for me, huh? Job's on a stick, girl. You're like a pint sized hustler. A good pony princess always uses leverage. That's how she gets to high places. Squid pro quo. Oh my god. I think it's uh, quid pro quo. Uh. Oh, never mind. What do you want? How about a piece of gum? I spit mine out before I came in. Okay, deal. Wait, wait. You just spit your gum out and now you want me to get you a new one? A good pony princess always has fresh gum. Let's talk right. about something else. Hang a second. Uh, right. Dum 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 dum. Oh, right. How about that? No, I don't want to. Right, hang on a second. This, that, then go over to this. A few old pieces of nuclear winter fresh chewing gum. Hard to repopulate the post-apocalyptic earth when you got nothing. You've got morning mouth. Oh, hang on a second. What was that? Uh, whoop, 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 whoop. A second. Look. No. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Maybe not. Right. Cool. Use gum on child. Okay, princess. Here's your gum. Now, where's my consciousness card? Oh yay! Thanks, Mister Nuclear Winter. My favorite flavor. Merry Christmas. Now, about my squid pro quo. Oh Wait, God! Well, that never gets any better. I you dropped the card on the ground when your robot arm started going crazy. Then that android lady in the purple shirt with hair that looks like an angry purple porcupine? I saw her snatch your card. I think she also bribed that trench coat hobo guy to cut in line. Ah, thanks for the solid tip. What's your name, girl? Starla. Starla, huh? You drive a tough bargain, your highness. But at least you make good on your word. A good pony princess always pays her debts. Consider us square. I'll keep an eye out on lifestyles of the trillionaires and famous for your expose. <laughs> you motherfucker! Right, I'm gonna have fucking words, you and me. Hey, what you want? You better give me my consciousness validation card back now before I report your spunky little punk ass to your parole officer. Oh, I ain't doing nothing wrong. <sighs> Look, I'm not gonna turn you in, okay? I'm just an underpaid, over wage slave whose job it is to help out sentient hybrids and sentient machines like yourself get back on their feet. But I can't do my job unless I get my consciousness validation card back. In fact, I'll probably get fired. So please, help me help you. Uh, look, mate, you seem like a nice guy for a G Man and all, but I really got no clue what you're on about. Sorry. That kid's eyes are burning into my soul. Sweet Jesus, they're terrifying. I ain't no cop, sweetheart. I'm a sentient services social worker. I hand out food stamps and housing to needy machine peoples just like you. Just as I thought. Well, I'm a sentient machine, mate, and I have sentient rights, like the one to remain silent. I ain't telling you nothing. God damn it, well, I don't want to be an arsehole about this. No security guard on duty. Let's have a quick word with this guy again, just see if we can do anything. Hey, 
the Illuminati. Oh, yeah, we get it, we get it, we get it, we get it, we get it. Oh, no, fair enough. All right. SSS security. Hey, uh, officer. Move along, sir. Uh, pff. Well. Officer, uh, I'd like to report a theft. I have reason to believe that woman in the purple shirt stole my consciousness validation card. <clears throat> Do you have probable cause? Any evidence to support your accusation? Uh, yeah, check CCTV. Check CCTV footage of the lobby, 8.47 a.m. The all-seeing eye of the state will have caught her red-handed. Downloading footage now. Right, I have visual confirmation of the theft. HQ, we've got a 484 requesting backup. Suspect is possibly armed and dangerous. Request authorization to use lethal force. Oh, wait, wait, hang on a second. Lethal force? She's a petty robo-thief. Not a chrome path anti-human terrorist with a thermion bomb strapped to her chest. Isn't that a little overkill? You can never be too careful with these robot types. Do you want me to engage the suspect or not? Oh, sorry, sorry. Engage away. Oh shit! Um... Well, I don't think this is about to get drastically out of hand. Freeze. You have the right to a trial by firing squad. Holy shit! What? what? Okay, okay, don't shoot! Something tells me Officer John Wayne here hasn't had proper use of force police training. Budget cuss being what they are and all. Get on the ground now. Any thoughts, memories, or neural data in your wetware is now property of Coastlandia City. You ready to talk, right, girl? Okay, okay. Just get this jackbooted psycho off me. Uh, you, you know what, officer? Uh, I think I made a mistake. I just found my card under my virtual gym membership. Sorry for the mix-up. Huh? Oh, okay then. Carry on. Jesus fucking Christ, what a lunatic. Coastlandia courts will automatically convict any non-human robot we throw in front of them. The CFC is a rough place, especially the sentient machine subdivision. Chrome gangs in there will take you apart, circuit from gear, break your pretty little fingers off and grind them into shanks. Just give me my car back and you can forget this ever happened. Just because I'm made of silicone and aluminium, I must be doing something wrong. That's machine stereotyping, that is. That's reality, that is. Machines are second class citizens. Now give me that card. Last chance. Wait, wait. Let's just say someone did take your card. I'm listening. Maybe she wasn't just a hardened criminal. Maybe she was just a girl in a tight spot with a kid to think of, you know? I'd say she should have thought harder about the consequences for her kid before she started jacking IDs. You're right, you're right. But let's say she'd been trying for a year for a job and no one wants to hire a robot. Last time she came to Sentient Services for her welfare and energy stamps, they did a brain scan and they denied her benefits because her neurons didn't pass the Sentience test. Th th that can't happen. If you're, if, if she's a thinking, feeling person, inside and out, and not just a toaster. Well, the Gortz or Takeda consciousness test will show that. Are you so sure that the test is 100% right all the time? The system is stacked against us non-humans, you know that. We can't get good work, get laughed at on the street, most of us live in a giant garbage heap. Why couldn't a test be rigged against us? Who would stop the human-controlled government? Uh, I don't know. Even if you're right, I could get in serious trouble. You're talking about impersonating another consciousness here. Mind fraud. Please, I'm... The girl's probably just doing this for her baby girl bot, so her daughter can have some energy to eat, a roof over her head. She's trying, but sometimes she has to fudge things because she's got no other choice in this system. She's got a special mod chip to fool the brain scan machine. She'll owe you, big time. <sighs> I know I'm gonna regret this somehow. Probably wind up in jail with you. What the hell? This job is its own kind of prison, I guess. Gonna need that car back after, though. Really? Thank you. Thank you, mister. Carl. Carl's just fine. I'm Jezebel. Thank you, Carl. You're doing the right thing here, you know that. 
If we only had more of your kind in the system, well, I think we'd all be better off. Yeah, well, uh, I'm gonna go work on my jujitsu and my right hook now, in case we end up in the slammer. Good luck, Jezebel. Yeah, we really need more people like me. Easily corruptible and willing to leverage fucking security to beat people up. I better stick around till I get my consciousness validation card back. Sign and date here and here. What is this? That's me address. This is the location of a condemned housing project which is reverted to a landfill, not a real residence. I'm on the Section 9 public housing waiting list at the moment, um... <sighs> well, you'll need a legal residence within the next 30 days or your sentient machine benefits may be revoked. So you're saying I can't get assistance unless I already have assistance? That's a catch-22. Utter horseshit. I have a kid. Please lower your voice, miss. And that is not my problem. I can't believe... In order to be eligible for support, you will be required to pass a Gertzel Takeda consciousness test. A score of 4.1 is required to confirm human level sentience. Please note that individuals scoring below a 4.1 may be classified as subhuman and may have their citizenship revoked and all property confiscated by the city state of Coastlandia. The consciousness requirement is waived for human applicants. This is so messed up. Please insert your cranium, neural net, or other synaptic substrate into the quantum encephalograph. I can't believe I have to prove I'm a real person. This is so demeaning. Let's get this over with. Please work. Uh-oh. scored a consciousness quotient of 3.9. You qualify as a pet or livestock, however, not sentient enough to be considered a person. What the this fuck? Is an outrage. What am I supposed to do? I've got a little one. What will happen to him? I'm sorry, ma'am. Regulations are regulations. You need a consciousness quotient of 4.1 and above to qualify as a fully conscious and sentient entity. Did you say this baby girl earlier? Fair. These humans don't have to take a stupid test. What have they got that I don't? Humans are sentient persons by default, ma'am. They have personhood by heredity. What makes you so goddamn special just because you got the right double helix of DNA? This is that, what's it called? Anthrocentrism. Anthrocentrist bullshit. Security, please escort this non-sentient humanoid imposter to the exit immediately. Uh-oh. Just as I thought, a thief and a terrorist. Oh fucking hell! Shoot! I'm unarmed. Oh, You're also God, opening fire in a building full of people. This is not happening, Carbon. What have you got yourself into? The guard has a crazed look, like he thinks he's Maximus Hertz and Edgar in an action movie. He's not living till he guns down a few evil machines and takes their metal heads as trophies. Oh fucking hell! No, no, no! Fucking Christ! Now this battery is depleted. Forget no way to charge it. Right. What the Give hell me a moment. Do you think you're doing? Get away from there. So I charge my taser. Oh, okay. Uh. Oh, okay. Jesus, man, she's an unarmed civilian. She's not gonna hurt anybody. Just, just put the gun down. You've got to show these tin cans that you mean business. I saw this technique in that movie. Kill Machine 2, Robogeddon. Oh, God damn it. Hey, buddy, your safety's on. You're not going to terminate any Terminators like that. What? Oh, right. Thanks. Get your head back down. Uh. Hey, who's that behind you? What? Uh, but up, but up. God fucking damn it. There we go. Go, 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 go! There's no one there, you it. Goddamn Windows 98! Hey, what the hell is wrong with this gun? I made you put your safety on, motherfucker! Trigger happy speciesist Yahoo pretending to be a cop. What? Your safety's on, idiot. 
<laughs> Get fucking bodied, you cunt. I was a recycled bot there. I won't forget this, mate. I've got skin in this game, too. If they caught you with my card, I'd be axed from my SS gig. However shitty and humiliating it may be, I need the money. I am gonna need that car back, of course. Right. You'd better get going. I'll make a self-defense claim. The Coastlandia government will want to avoid being dragged through the mud in the hypermedia. Another untrained, unstable cop opens fire in government office is a bad meme during election cycle. Wait, yeah, another? I'm used to laying low. Don't worry about me. Yeah. Take care of that kid. I'll figure something out. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? Anyway, thanks. Not a whole lot of people give a shit about sentient machines nowadays. Not a whole lot of people give a shit about anything. I'll be seeing you, Carl. See ya, Jezebel. Ah, uh, Carl's just fine. What a the hero we need. Mess. Hey, I got some achievements. Oh god, right in the face. Oh Jesus. Hey, that's the joke I did from fucking Poozy. <clears throat> Good morning, Department of Sentient Services. Carl Carbon speaking. Carbon? You're the CPS Nazi bastard that took my baby, ain't you? Well, you can go to hell. Unfit mother my ass. Oh, uh, ma'am, please calm down. I know where you live, asshole. My baby daddy's gonna cap your ass with his gold-plated Uzi. Ma'am, there's really no reason to. Only one death threat this morning? <laughs> wow, it's shaping up to be a light day. Fair enough, I guess. It's always nice when you can get through you get through the day with only, you know, marginal threats against Himalaya of paperwork. Okay, let's have a look at this. Snow-capped paperwork mountains. I mean, can we do it? So that's where my screwdriver was. Buried under the blizzard. Why would I have a screw- You know what? Never mind. Can I actually... I can't actually do anything to it. I can't talk to it. I can't taser it. Damn. A sonic screwdriver. Perfect for repairing defective machinery. Got some kind of nanometrical smart gel tip that adapts to Phillips, flathead, Torx, whatever. Yeah, fair enough. Finally, someone found a type of screwdriver that can work on anything. Absolute mad lads. Just a million miles of case files. Nothing critical I need. Jesus. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm here. Let's see. Paperwork avalanche. I need a pen. I look at that. Snow capped. No? One would imagine there is a pen. It looks like there's a pen right on top of it, but apparently no. Phone. Phone cabinet. Can't just lick the. How fucked up is this? I would just like to say look how catastrophically fucked up this goddamn desk is. How many gunfights have happened around here? Jesus. My workstation, where I slave away on reports and enter endless data into spreadsheets to support the fat salaries of administrators and bureaucrats. Capitalism! And apparently just blank pieces of paper on the back wall. Sure. Uh, right. Oh. Can I just sort of... No. No, right. No teaser right now. Uh, can I use... I don't need to do anything there right now. For some just look up a movie on Dan on Dan Fango. We doctor days pay for using company infrastructure for non-work purposes. Ouch. Okay. Aha. Success, motherfucker. Got a pen. Time to go to work. And a second. Hang on a second. Miles and miles of casework. When I get to hell, it'll be reports and phone calls of my ex-wife. Wait, maybe I'm already there. Click the papers to fill out this child custody status application. Do, do, do. Click the papers again to complete this interdepartmental transfer request. Click the papers again to do more mindless soul deadening treachery. <laughs> God, I hate this flacking job. Feels like Sisyphus, but pushing a pen instead of a boulder. I mean, at least I've got this nice chill, uh cyberpunk kind of synthwave stuff to deal with me. Oh god, right in the face! 
Oh, Jesus again! Carbon, why the hell don't you answer your communicator? Are you sleeping on the clock again? I need those reports done yesterday. Uh, no, no, sir. I mean, uh, yes, sir. I was, uh, working. I was just, uh, finishing up the last TPS report, Mr. Shuffler. Oh, and don't forget, you've got to get out to see your favorite delinquent robot kid today. What's his name? Johnny Silica? Yeah, right. He was MIA at his parole hearings, counseling sessions, night classes. Got picked up yesterday for assaulting a robotic police officer. Son of a bitch. He's gangbanging with the roll rollers or the chrome boys again. I mean, uh, sorry sir. The boy's a real loose cannon. He's your loose cannon, Carbon. You're his social worker, so socialize him. He's a humanoid and you're practically half-toaster yourself with that vintage mech arm. Be a father figure or some shit. I'll do my best, sir. Can I ask if my fun request for a new cyber arm went through? The actuators are shorting out on this one, and it almost caused a car cra- uh, I mean, it's hurting my productivity. Oh, denied, Carbon. Budget Crunch has a Coastlandia city in a tight spot. Last time I checked, you're a goddamn ex-cop pariah, dishonorably discharged, lucky to have a meal ticket and a roof above your head. My roof is a piece of corrugated polycarbon, sir, and it leaks. Didn't the city report a $50 billion surplus last fiscal quarter? That was before the tax cuts, the subsidies for Hypertech, and the rest was used for that new country club arcology. Tough nails, Tin Man. Just handle your client. Yes, sir. What an asshead. Excellent. Uh, let me check these. I just want to check these just to see precisely what these, uh, finish them out Everest of triplicate paperwork. What were the other ones we got? Uh, stop the homicidal security guard without- Oh fuck, he could have killed me. I guess if I hadn't tricked him into turning his safety on, he would have just shot me. Uh, nice. And we actually managed to neutralize him too. Yay. Anyway, we'll call it here for a sec. Um, I'm- I'm really enjoying this. It's not as fast paced as anything else, but the story's interesting. The voice acting is good. I think Carl's accent is a little bit too fluid. It seems to vacillate between a bunch of different dialects. But other than that, yeah, this is pretty decent. And anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to return more of Carl's Just Fine saving this little fucking douchebag. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.